Hi, um, in this video, we'll see how we can send across invoices that have been processed by Receipt Bank 20. So, um, in one of my previous videos, I showed how um, we add an item and we, we added these two invoices using the upload from computer option. Um, now, in about less than 24 hours, when I went into my receipt book, I got I received a notification in my emails, and I saw that those two items were ready for export. Um, so they were sitting under the ready for export tab here. Uh, now, before we uh, send it, publish this item to zero, pressing this green button here. Let's have a quick look how Receipt Bank has processed our invoice. So we click on one of these invoices. And look at that. Um, Receipt Bank actually on the left side shows the PDF we had scanned, and on the right side, it shows how uh, it has generated the information for us uh, from uh, that invoice. So, type is invoice, date it has picked up uh, from here, due date it gives us when the due date is, it's for the month of November. Um, if the supply is the traffic police, the invoice number it has picked up from here as well. The currency is SGT and the total is here. Now, it has under the category, it has allocated into general expenses, but we can actually go in there and change it to... Uh, uh, we usually use the light, power and heating because this um, invoice relates to our utility bill. Uh, and once I actually change the category here, uh, Receipt Bank uh, from next month will automatically pick up this category for uh, our future invoices. All I need to do now is actually just go save so that it saves the information I've changed. And now let's go to the next invoice and see what that information is. Now this is an air, uh, air conditioning electricity bill. Uh, that's the invoice date, the due date, uh, traffic, uh, PTE limited, uh, that's the invoice number, the currency, the total of the invoice, and again, let's go and change this uh, to light, power, and heating, and I'll go save. So, once I go back to my invoice, these are my two. As we can see, the categories have now been changed. I can actually select them both together and if I can publish them both together in zero. So I'll just click on that. And this is how it's gone from here, as you can see, and it's come under the tab publishing. So um, in about 60 seconds to 120 seconds, it should actually uh, come up in our draft purchases. Let's have a quick look if it's showing it in there. So if I just go to my purchases and try and refresh it, there you go. It's sitting under drafts. So if I click on there, it's already been published to zero. If I click on the first one, it's picked up exactly the in, the right information from the invoice. And what it also has done here is it has attached the original PDF here. Uh, all I can do is just add in the description there. I can just go, this bill is for a conditioning for October 2013. Once it's all okay, I can just hit approve and it's ready uh, for payment. And this is how we publish uh, a transaction that has been prepared in Receipt Bank to zero. Hope that helps.